What's up and welcome to episode 31 of the Daily Dave. I'm your host, David Chang. And today we're going to talk about skin disease. <laughs> I don't really have an, an too interesting of a topic this time, but I just randomly thought about how yesterday I couldn't get to sleep because, man, my skin's been bothering me. Oh, my hair's messed up too. My skin's been bothering me uh, recently. I don't know if it's um, some sort of like residual stress or... Uh, something kind of irritating my skin nearby, which is also very possible. Uh, I've grown up with eczema, um, so it's a skin condition where uh, my skin is sensitive to to touch. Um, as in, like it's, I think it's um, it's like it's like literally thinner skin. I, I think <laughs> hot things are very hot for me. Um, being cold really sucks. My skin dries easily. It cracks really easily. Um, even if my face, oh wow, even if my face gets oily, um, uh, it does. I don't know. It sucks. Like having oily skin on top of dry skin is also like a huge problem. And um, yeah, I, I'll develop like rashes or something where like parts of my hand will become more red, and they'll itch. And um, oh, like you, you could tell from my neck. Uh, this this is like new to me this has been happening for the past like half a year three months or so so yeah it kind of sucks um doctors are not sure what causes it no one's really sure um most people think it might be some sort of like first world slash pollution caused developmental thing i don't know generally i think it's believed to be like an autoimmune disease uh so it's like your body attacking itself because of some bullshit i don't know um my mentor thinks it's because of stress and i do agree with that like the the more stressed out i get the worse it'll get the the more bothersome it is that's why i'm wondering like what's stressing me out i mean and think it's still the money issue yeah doctors will just be like oh yeah just put some lotion on it or whatever so living with that in japan what is that like um well it's the same as back home i still have to take care of my skin after every shower, I have to uh, use lotion pretty much all over my body. Otherwise, like if I don't, especially in the winter, if I don't, um, it cracks. And um, the worst I've ever had was when I was a kid. I would go out dehydrated, play play games with like the, like you know, like, was it four square? I don't know, with the ball. Like it hit the ball with my fist and then my knuckles would end up, would end up bleeding because my skin would like tear from doing stuff like this um yeah that that sucked uh, i got made fun of all the time um i was called like scales because my legs the back of my legs looked like they had scales on them because like because my skin would crack and they'd look they they would look disgusting um yeah just like dumb shit like that um I have more dandruff than I think the average person. Uh, if I scratch certain parts of my body, like skin flakes come off, whatever. If I don't take care of my face, like, oh, it gets really fucked up. Um, that's probably why I had such bad acne when I was younger. Like, I wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't s like super cystic or anything like that, but I have scars from my teenage years. So that's, um, yeah, that's a nice little dermatological thing uh but how do i deal with it here um some of the lotions that i would buy back home i can get here so like like the vaseline branded stuff um because what you want more of is stuff that replenishes moisture as well as seals so like just using petroleum jelly is not the best idea even though it tends to be a pretty good idea when you have a lot of cracking because it helps uh it helps with the helps keeping your skin moist while it heals but you want something that can like penetrate your skin and then like provide nutrients to it what i found really good is like neutrogena stuff the, the norwegian formula um they have like a healing lotion as well as like a like a moisture what is this deep moisture hand cream and then um I've used I've been using this stuff called um oh, what is it called actually infinite aloe it's fucking expensive but it's it's really gentle like I can put on my eyelids and it's it is practically non-irritant um a lot of other things will irritate my eyelids um 
And aloe in general is a good uh, a good material or ingredient to use for like skin healing and stuff like that. Um, but just in general, like the the normal thing to do is um, when you do shower, you have to understand that like hot water especially strips the oil from your skin. So to replenish a protective layer, you got to put lotion on. Um, so stay moisturized. Uh, whenever I wash my hands with soap, I definitely I definitely need a layer of lotion. Even if I don't wash my hands with soap, if I wash it with too much hard water for a long time, it uh, you can hear you can hear how dry my hands uh, feel. So yeah, no, it's it's uh, it sucks. I just like the thing is I have to take the time to actually like go through a lot of Japanese products and see how good or bad they are. And honestly, like I just don't really want to take the time to do that. <laughs> like I'll just I'd rather just buy the stuff that I know works if I can get it. And then sometimes I'll try a thing here or there just to see if it's good or not. So um, I have a pretty mild case of eczema, so it's not like super bad. Um, the other thing is there's a um, uh, when it's really bad, when you have a really bad outbreak, it, the rash, the rashes, fucking suck, and you can basically like temporary temporarily deal with that with like hydrocortisone. So, for example, back at home, there's, like, what, cortisone 10 or whatever, but, uh, and there's also generic, like, hydrocortisone cream. There is a there is one that's sold here in Japan. I forgot what it was called, but I have it bookmarked. It's, like, a 0.5% uh, cream. Uh, all the Anything, like, freaking drug-related in Japan is, like, a milder dose compared to American standards. So, ugh, I'm running out of, like, my, my U.S. Hydro- hydrocortisone cream, so... I'm going to have to buy one of those soon and see how it is. Yeah, sometimes, like, if I get a really bad rash here or there or, like, it's, like, a bug bite or something, I'll, I'll put it on because it helps to relieve the, the itching. Otherwise, I'm just, like, like everything sucks. Like, I'll be in bed. I'm, like, ah, fa. So, I don't know. Um, uncomfortable, literally uncomfortable topic to talk about, I guess. But it's just one of the things I deal with. So, I know other people probably have, like, way worse health problems so i'm not like really complaining it's just yeah it's uh, yeah no i am complaining it's just sometimes things suck you know you have to deal with it so yeah anyway um uh, but it, normally in the summers when it's so humid <sighs> my skin feels so much better like it's like oh yay except for when that fucking mold thing happened that fucked me over dude that's why like last year oh, had so many problems so much stress way more than i expected but now i don't know I'm thinking about like, okay, how is my like new job gonna go? How um how are things gonna be if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be a really ambitious person? I'm just like, holy fuck, dude! Like I've never, <laughs> I've never spent my life actually like achieving greatness before, so I don't know what's going on. So we'll see. That's 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 me. That's David Chang in a nutshell. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening. Um, thanks for listening to my terrible pronunciation. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh. Um, I did get to meet up with another one of my friends, uh, Chase Lim. He's like a, uh, he's like a, a younger version of me, socially awkward, um, kind of nerdy. And <laughs> no, he's uh, he's cool, but um, good to see, you know, good to see friends from back home. So yeah, the, this was the daily day for January third. Um, again, recording it almost a little bit over, um, but January third, twenty eighteen. Looking forward to more new adventures this year, etc. And um, yeah, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Peace out.